You're headed back to Reen? Yeah. You all on your way back then? Uh, yeah, I'm feeling a bit bush today. I figured it was about time to return to the dorms, too. Uh, to be honest, I was hoping to get some more studying in, but since everyone else was going back... <laughs> Good old peer pressure. Oh, aren't Laura and Fee with you? I'm afraid not. We looked for them, but they were nowhere to be found. They're old enough to find their own way back. I guess you're right, but it's a shame we couldn't all go back together. Reen? Huh? Hmm. Uh. Who is that girl? Isn't that uniform... Police? When did you... What? I is that your sister? The one and only. W what are you doing here, Elise? And this late in the day, too. Look deep in your heart and you'll find your answer. What? It's a pleasure to meet all of you. I'm Elise, Reen's sister. I apologize for cutting in, but would it be possible for me to borrow him for a while? It's been a while, huh? Must be six months since I saw you? Seven? Yeah. The last time I saw you was when I came back to Ymir at the end of last year. But I always thought we'd have a chance to meet up after you enrolled here. I I'm sorry. I wanted to meet you out here too, it's just... I've been so busy lately. Besides, it's not easy to get permission to leave St. Astraea's campus, is it? 
that's entirely beside the point. Heimdall is just 30 minutes from Trista by train. Add 20 more minutes travel time to get from Central Station to my school. But I suppose you're so tied up that even 50 minutes is too much time to spare for a little visit. I'm sorry. I really am. I kept being hit with classwork, exams, field studies. But you're right. I probably could have made time if I'd made that a priority. It's just that... Yes? Well... It's just that when I saw you last year, you seemed kind of... distant. I thought maybe you'd started to find me a bother, so I figured it'd be best to just stay out of your way, I guess. I was never distant! Maybe it seemed that way because... Well, it's kind of a personal thing. I'd rather not talk about it. If something's bothering you, you know you can always tell me about it. it. It doesn't matter. What does matter is that I've never thought of you as a bother, ever. And I swear on Adios's name that I never will. R really? I'm happy to hear that. All right then. I'm going to clear up some time to come to the capital and see you. Promise. And you're always welcome to come visit me here too. Really? <coughs> I'm glad to hear it. After growing up together, you were the last person I'd want to feel distant from. <laughs> You're right. So, is that what you came all the way out here to talk about? Seems a little overbearing just for that. Well, our lack of communication has definitely been on my mind. But that's not the main reason I came here today. Do you really not know why I came? Should I? Oh, that's the last letter I sent to you, isn't it? Oh, did you come for the souvenir I got you on our trip to the Nord Highlands? I found this cute accessory there that I figured you'd like. You did? Wait, no, that's not why I came either. The issue here is the final part of your letter. It's possible that after I graduate, I'll join the army. Even if I don't, though, I doubt I'll be coming back home to live. I really want to repay Mom and Dad for all they've done for me, so I'd appreciate your help with that at some point. I'm looking forward to catching up with you. Hope you're doing well. Rain Schwarzer. Ah, that. What did you mean by, even if I don't though, I doubt I'll be coming back home to live? Or by wanting to repay Mother and Father? You make it sound as though you intend to sever ties with them. You can't honestly be thinking that you're going to quietly bow out of succeeding father as head of the family. Are you, Reen? That's exactly what I'm thinking. I have no intention of becoming the head of the family or the next Baron Schwarzer. <gasps> What's so surprising about that? I was adopted. I wasn't born into a nobleman's life. The best thing would be for you to marry a good man and have him succeed Dad as Baron. That doesn't even make sense! You might not be related to us by blood, but you're still father's only son! And the right of adopted children to succeed their family name is recognized under Imperial law! Yeah, if the adopted child is of noble blood. At least that's how it's gone in most cases. And I'm not. Oh. 